to believe everything was fine. Breathing in the perfect air. Voices that can see. Hello, hi. I want to say good morning, but it's definitely morning. Uh, it's actually Sunday afternoon. Uh, my name is Petra, if you're new here, and welcome to next video. So, this week I am in a little bit of funk, I have to say. Um, I did some stuff, but I didn't film anything. So, yesterday I woke up and I was a bit like, meh. I don't know really what to do with myself and then I went to get a coffee, I also grabbed a bagel, I felt like I go for shopping so I went to check uh, basically down uh, to Collier's Wood, uh, I went to check the retail park so I went to Dunelm to see if I fancy anything, didn't really fancy anything, I got the new light shade which is basically the same as it was like the basic ones from ikea the white one everyone has it so i just got it uh, from dunham for double the price i have to say it costs three pounds and it's kind of half of a size but it is what it is um so but just that then i popped to mark and spencer because they have a sale and i know they have really good trousers and they have long trousers so I was like okay do you know what let's go and see if I'm gonna buy myself a trousers I had a slightest problem I didn't film them because I got a bit discouraged in a changing room not gonna lie uh, so um, at the moment um, between sizes 18 and 20 so I went for size 18 in Mark and Sparks. Uh, that actually fit well over my bum, but regular kind of cut is just too short, a tiny short for me because I would like to get trousers. They are kind of like basically with the end of my shoe so that you're not really dragging them on the floor, but it almost you do if that makes sense. That's kind of what I'm looking for when I'm wearing a trousers or jeans. Um, however, yeah, the regular basically length was short, so I went for the long one, which was perfect lengthwise, but uh, the crotch area was a bit funky, plus the waist, like I like high-waisted uh, pants, high-waisted jeans, high-waisted leggings, because kind of snatch you. This didn't snatch me, and I swear to God, that waistband was literally right under my boobs, and if I wanted to, I would maybe pull it over my boobs as well. So <laughs> I didn't buy anything. Uh, then I tried a pair of jeans, they're, I think they haven't been on sale. I think it was like 40 quid for them. Really nice wash, wide, which are like long, perfect, uh, perfect like length, exactly what I'm looking for. However, it was weird. Like, I think it was like a error batch because basically when you have your zipper instead of it straight, it was just like to the to left. And that was the same on a bum, so it was like almost kind of shifted. It was just such a weird thing. So I didn't got these ones either. Um, then I went to gym because it's March, so I felt like I wasted uh, two months of this year with not really doing anything about my health and that's not good. So well, I'm looking now on my calendar, which I'm going to show you, but in... February I was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 times in a gym. It has 29 days. Fair play, I do office days, which I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 office days, so 8 plus 9 is 17, and then the rest, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. 10 days I didn't do anything so at least when I got to the office I walked 10,000 steps 
So that's some movement and some kind of fitness. But 10 days, I was just miserable, depressed and didn't do anything. So I decided that March will be different. So my minimum is to do 10k every single day. That's minimum. Um, so I need to go to gym five times a week, essentially. And my camera is dying, so let me charge it and then I will come back. All right, I'm back. I have to say, this is the thing I really like about this camera, that you can be charging it and still recording. So that's very good. Uh, where did I stop? Oh yeah, so I didn't really go anywhere. And my goal for uh, March is to do 10k minimum a day plus the workout so that means when I'm doing my two office days I'm gonna do walking which I'm gonna do the 10k and the rest which is five days I need to go to gym and do cardio or I need to do additional walks and obviously my workout as well so I've been now three days in a row in a gym the first day on Friday I did only 10k steps yesterday because I went shopping shopping and then to gym I did 17,000 I believe it was 18,000 by the time I went to bed and then today it's four o'clock and I'm on 10,000 so I'm probably gonna finish around like 12 so I will then put that on board uh, I'm gonna show you kind of how I I tracking it on my little planner so as I promised this is the planner I didn't do well in February, but as you can see, I did 10K on Friday, yesterday, 17, it was 18 by the time I went to bed. Today I went to gym and obviously I'm going to put end of the, on the end of the day, I'm going to put the number of steps I did. But yeah, blue means I've been in the gym and then there would be steps for the end of the month. So... Yeah, that's how I'm tracking it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I have to say I feel a bit more cheerful this week, this past week as well. So that's good. I've really sorted my budget. So we're really budgeting this month because I need to save as much money as possible. I think long down the line, I will do a video where I'm going to show you how I manage my income, how much I'm saving and stuff like that because might gonna be handy for someone. So saying that I actually did purchase a new skin product because I ran out of my uh, cleansing oil. So I got this one from Unique. I think that's how you read it. I don't know. It's just like a uh, complete cleansing oil, 90% of blend oil, deep cleansing for all skin tones. So got that one. I think it was like £16. And I took that from my monthly allowance that I have for like pleasure, like coffees, going out, uh, going for food, etc. So I did that. Uh, what else I did? I've been kind of just like chilling I guess. I obviously watched the new episode of the the Masters of the Air. Uh, really liked the seven episode. Really good. Can't wait for next week. Uh, I was a bit kind of stuck because I finished, was it last week? Not the week before. I actually watched this Korean drama, uh, Marry My Husband. Really loved it. I can highly recommend if you have uh, nothing to watch uh, and have Amazon Prime, give it a go. It's a Korean drama. It is funny. It is dark. It has so many plot twists and I cried. I laughed. I uh, cried from laughing, like all the emotions. And that's exactly what I love these days to watch. So, uh, yeah, can recommend that one. And now is this new uh, Japanese drama on Disney Plus, Shogun. I think that's how you say it, how you pronounce it. I'm not 100% sure. I think there's two episodes on, so I'm going to watch them later today. Because I think my dad is watching them first because he was talking about it. So I'll pass him my login details. So hopefully I'm not going to be in trouble. Um... 
and yeah so you know not much is happening i film a time lapse of me tidying my room because it was disaster it's all blurry but i'm gonna still put it here because um i found it quite funny the voices that we need ah. Your last breath is coming soon As the statues all turn to dust Yeah, what else? I finished a book, finally. It, it was the... What was it called? I can't remember even. Because I felt like I read that book a whole February. It was just so difficult to read and it was a hefty one it was called blue dress girl is essentially a chinese theme a book about when england france uh kind of americans as well been occupying china tried to do the trading uh routes and kind of all the battles i thought it was mainly about the blue dress girls which was kind of like maybe the two first two uh chapters about them and then it was mainly like just like military and how the whole war and everything went between china and england and france and then i think americans also got involved it was just long and even though i love to read historical dramas um this one was just not the best and took me kind of almost the whole month to read but now i'm reading at the end of the uh, mateen which is essentially a book from a japanese author and it's about this uh professional guitar player who's in age i believe 38 who met a woman a chinese woman uh, Chinese, Japanese woman, but she's half Japanese and they like instantly fall in love and you kind of see like what she's been going through that's kind of uh, stuff about PTSD and also him dealing with struggle as a musician that he's not feeling as that inspired and motivated and it's actually really good. It's again hefty book so I'm like halfway through so i'm gonna read that later on as well i'm again continuing my reading streak i think i'm on seven days now yes i'm on seven days since i lost my 125 days i cried but we over we just now focusing on the future and yeah i think what i'm also gonna do i need to book my holidays at work and book my flight tickets for japan so am i gonna do that later on if I do, am I gonna film it and put it here? But um, am I not gonna rush it yet? Because I really need to plan the days because I want to go to Korea as well. So I need to figure out how to do it, how much time I can take off. Yeah, did I did that. So yeah. So yeah, this is just like a short video just to check in. Um, show that we don't feel depressed anymore. We're actually kind of thriving. It's all literally, it's so much in the head and I have to say my moods are really like affected by weather because yesterday was sunny and blue skies, today is the same, like I went to gym at 10, it was nice and sunny, I had my sunglasses, I was exciting, then from gym I went straight away to food shop, I walked, I walked through the park, it was lovely and it just makes me feel so much better so hopefully now when the weather is getting better also my mood is gonna get better and everything's gonna be fine but yeah i'm gonna go read maybe learn some korean i really need to step up my korean as well but first i want to just focus now on my fitness do like week or two weeks and then i'm gonna add the korean and again stick to it but i'm gonna talk about it later on so yeah hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did please give it a thumbs up if you're new here subscribe and i'll see you next week with the next one bye Lake Street did not burn did 
Na 